Well, well, well. How's everybody doing? Uh, it's been a few minutes since I've posted anything because, uh, you know, I uh, don't have much time to do anything. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is a few things. We're going to get, ooh, piss it time, but we're going to get these things installed. I know what you're thinking. Why are you putting those on here? I just want a tiny bit of mud protection. I don't need a lot. I saw them on my buddy Jeff's uh, Black R Max and they look nice. So they go on pretty quick. We're going to slap those babies on here. And then I am going to talk about how I trailer this machine down to West Virginia because a lot of people have been asking about that. So we'll talk about that too. We'll talk about the straps that I use and recommend because they are excellent. All right, so one thing that I want to mention about the mud busters is these like clips they give you are mickey mouse man like it's okay to use them down here but up here i think you want something way more substantial so i used stainless allens and i mean that is not going anywhere so you can pick up i'll put a link in the description you can get like a cheap stainless bolt kit like that for like probably 15 or 20 bucks so that's what i'm doing installing them here and if you really wanted to get amazing you could put nylocks on the back of this i'm not anticipating them rattling loose because it's kind of spongy with the plastic but um i'll use those plastic like riv nuts or whatever you want to call well i guess not riv nuts they're just like these push pin type deals i mean these are this stuff's not great but i mean you know they work okay so for the bottom, it's fine, but for the top, I don't know. I wouldn't use them. So definitely uh, consider doing this. And you have plenty of room back here. And then, yeah, there's holes here you could fill these in with black silicone or whatever. It wouldn't really matter. But that's th th that's that's done right. So that's not going anywhere. Been helping me, man. Oh, thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, folks. Got uh, the Armax all figured out here and loaded up. Got the uh, new Mud Boys on there. And all of our tools and the spare is on there, ready to rip. So now we're gonna talk about what I use to strap this thing down. And these are uh, straps by Strapino. And I am not affiliated by them at all. I actually buy all these straps. Um, and I contacted them to get me some extensions and they were able to get me some of these as well. So what I'm going to do real quick is add these extensions to the ratcheting part of the strap. And you can see that I want a little bit more length here. So I think in the future they, they might offer longer straps like that. So if you're going to be hauling side by sides I'd, I'd recommend doing that is reaching out to them and getting the longer strap and then we're just going to take out this uh, nylock nut there this bolt and just swap it out so that it'll take two seconds so here's my favorite part about these straps since everything is self-contained you basically all you have to do is just hook up one end so i'm going to come down here and clip this into my e-track and then i take the other end and i kind of spool it out a little bit again clip it in line everything up the way i want it start getting some tension on it so I just adjust them, check to make sure they're over the tires. I try to get them in the center of the tread pattern. That's it, I'm done. So everything still stays uh, self-contained right there. All wound up nice. You don't have anything flopping around everywhere. Locked in place, not going anywhere. And then yeah, you just, each wheel gets one, fire up your rig, dog starts barking. Doesn't get any better than that in my opinion. Like literally it would take me 15 minutes to strap something down because then I'd tie up all the extra. 
Yo, man. New bear. But yeah, you know, you'd have to tie up all the extra and this and that. And yeah, so these speed it up. It's insanely fast now. You just throw them on, strap them, done. So great product. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I love them. And I want to let my viewers know about it. So I will put on some Amazon affiliate links. That way, if you order them, I get like 22 cents or something for each one or probably like four cents. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so take a look. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon, hopefully.